Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to take you through Typekit desktop fonts. These are Typekit fonts traditionally used on the web are now available on your desktop for use in any application that you want to use them in. In fact, all you need to do is come down here, browse fonts on Typekit. Notice how it does say desktop use right here. And you can page through the many fonts right down here at the bottom. Uh, but really what I want to do is I want to sort, say for instance, by slab serif. Okay, and then I can maybe sort by fonts that have, say, multiple weights is what I'm doing now. Say for instance, Museo slab, I, I like this font. Just select use fonts and you can sync it directly uh, to your desktop using Creative Cloud and it will be available everywhere you can use fonts on your desktop. In fact, it says, hey, six fonts were added. In fact, I'll open up that menu and you can see Museo Slab has been added. All right, so uh, I'll just pick one more quickly. Maybe find a script font, one that has a little more character for the project I'm working on. Uh, again, I can add as many as I want click done and with that since it's synced directly to Creative Cloud you'll see it pop up right here okay so now I can use those fonts anywhere say for instance in Photoshop I already have Photoshop running so this is great because I don't even need to restart the program I'm working in as I jump in here I can change say this text to the lush there we go for the beauty that works great immediately available as you can see right here uh, this is great also if you're doing any sort of print publication say for instance using InDesign you think this font uh, such as the Museo slab is the same as any other font well you'd be right there it is Museo slab with all those different weights and I can favorite that as well but you can see how I can quickly add it and be well on my way so I encourage you to check it out browse them add any fonts you want they'll all be synced to Creative Cloud and even if you're working on a project with someone else who has Creative Cloud you never have to worry about somebody else not having a specific font mm -hmm.